This is the fifth and sixth grade math test, item six. The problem is middle school students are growing tomatoes. They record the width in inches of 17 tomatoes as shown. You see the widths, and then it says click above the number line to create a line plot that represents the data. So the first one I have is three, so and there's only one three inch tomato, so I find three on the number line, I click in the cell right above three. Next I have 3.5 and there are one, two, three, four, five tomatoes. There are five tomatoes that were 3.5 inches wide, so I find 3.5 and I count up one, two, three, four, five, and I click there. Now I've got seven tomatoes that were four inches wide. Let's say I accidentally choose 4.5 on the number line instead of four. And I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I realize I chose the wrong point on the number, one, number line. So I want to delete these dots I put above 4.5. So how can I do that? Well, maybe I can click on them. Okay, this is going to work. I can click on them and make them go away. But this last one, what do I do to get rid of that? Well, if I click on it and then click and just move my mouse outside the number line, I can delete that last dot. But it's really hard to understand how to do that. If I click on the context menu and click on tutorial I will see a video tutorial that shows me how to deal with problems using a number line or a grid and this particular part of the tutorial has nothing to do with the problem I'm working on right now so we'll skip ahead to the next part of the tutorial now we're on to the next part of the tutorial. This part of the tutorial once again has nothing to do with the problem I'm working on right now. Now we're on to the next part of the tutorial and once again it has nothing to do with the problem I'm working on right now. Here's the next part of the tutorial. At least now we have a grid, but this part of the tutorial does not help me solve the problem I'm working on right now. And now we've reached the end of the tutorial. I'll close it and I've seen nothing that will help me understand how to use the technology to solve this problem.